Hey guys, right now we are in our first stop here at the Hall Chop House in downtown Charleston. And that's Remy right there, gonna go hard with the bread, Rem. I'm getting the um, lunch special, so the she crop soup and the filet. So what are you getting, Rem? The salmon salad? Yeah. All right. All right, guys, first round, that's the she crop soup. I like a cream crab. Probably need a little more salt. Crab and cream. <laughs> okay, guys, finally got our entree here. So it looks like an eight ounce filet mignon. And with some peppercorn broth in there, collard greens, and cream corn. And Remy have this blackened salmon salad. How is it? Good. Is it tasty? Oh yeah. Look, huh? at, look at how thin. Uh, let's cook like a, a little more than medium. That's more like a medium wall. Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. Thanks, Just enjoying my steak here with um, seasoned with salt and pepper, but it's just so good and juicy. The medium wall is very perfect. Mm. So tender. What else in the plate? Oh, there are cream corn. Oh, that's so fattening. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of collard greens, but... Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's the healthiest part of the meal. That's like a burnt tomato here if you want. Hey, y'all. So we are here in the Charleston Tea Plantation. The only tea plantation here in the U.S., but the plants um, is actually native of China. That's why they brought the tea here, and this is how it looks like. So we're going to do the trolley tour right there. And yeah, we're going to go check it and have fun. And this is owned by the Bigelow Tea Company. And yeah, so today we're just doing the tour. The trolley tour costs $15 per person. And you can go check out the tea plantation and sample some of their teas. There it is, the controller is that white box over there on the right wall. We can cool, we can heat, uh, we can water based on uh, where the plants are in the growth cycle. We can control the amount of light they get with the cloud curtain. The way we cool is with a swamp cooler. That left wall down there is the swamp cooler. That corrugated material you see is soaked with water. Um, boy. Dance, 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 dance. Hey guys, we just got to the seafood place in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. So, just getting two appetizers to start with. And this is the baked oyster. It looks yummy. And the surf and the um, iron cast plate here. And Remy, what is it? What are you chewing on? Cheese pasta. So Remy's eating the cheese pasta, the cheese, the honey. It tastes like seafood. Really? No, but there's no seaweed in it. Okay, guys, for an entree, we are eating sport fish. It's a fire roasted um, white fish, locally sourced here from South Carolina. And we're gonna have this tomato um, dipping sauce. It's really good with the tomato sauce. Got off the fish. Very good. Thank you. Hey all, welcome to the Magnolia Plantation here in Charleston, South Carolina. And right behind me is the plantation home. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the tour of the house. It's additional eight bucks to get in, I think. And it's gonna take about 30 to 40 minutes, but it's just very pretty. Like all the house, like around 360, you can see all the gardens from all angles. Thank you. 
said, uh, when I was here training, this was my favorite place. It's been quiet and peaceful back here. There's a lot of wildlife, uh, a lot of plant life and stuff. You see a lot of alligators, snakes, turtles back here. And again, it's quiet. None of the trains or anything run through here. Uh, it's solely for walking through and just to enjoy yourself and the beauty of nature. And if you get your tour guide through here, uh, you'll end up walking on this wooden walk path that you can see over there on the left. And they'll give you a four-digit code to enter in so you can go through that gate there. And you'll walk on all these wooden paths and some, gra and some uh, dirt paths as well. It's another great reason to go is uh, not just for the nature. If you're not into nature, but you're into Hollywood, uh, that's a great place to go. at the sorrel wheat house here in savannah and we are just investigating we are at the carriage house right now and this is where molly one of the um slave girl committed suicide and she just it's just a mysterious dead here and this is where the slave quarter where they fit about 15 people they cook, sleep, and everything. So, um, all right, we're gonna explore more. Okay, guys, we just got out of the Sorrel Week house here in Savannah. It's right in the historic district. We survived two damn hours of um, paranormal investigation. We used the EVP and all that. That's pretty dope heard the piano got played uh, four times and someone said the word Billy. So right now I'm just waiting for like another like 25 minutes before boarding. So I'm just so excited about being on a sleeper train. So the ticket costs $400 for two people one way from Savannah to Washington. It'll take us about 11 hours. And my ticket is actually for the roomette class which is like the second class. So it's the one without the shower inside the cabin. But look at right behind me, so empty and quiet here. So the Amtrak station only opens from five to 10 p.m. every day because they only have three trains from here. And it'll be a very interesting journey. And also if you ride the train, you can park here for free, which you don't get that at all in DC. And that's the waiting area right behind me. And they don't have any stores, very quiet. But so excited riding the sleeper train. So we're gonna go check out inside in a little bit when we board. All right, adios. Guess who's coming? The choo choo train. <laughs> Getting ready to board here. And this is the train. The Silver Meteor 174. Look how they have like a double deck. Hey y'all, we're finally on board here at the Silver Meteor train 174 from Savannah, Georgia to Washington, D.C. Oh, I'm just finishing up my dinner here. Cocoa and rice. That's my suitcase, so pick, you can check in your suitcase, but I don't know about that, so. But they have a compartment up there that you can store your uh, all your stuff there. You can fit like two small suitcases and whatever. The other bed, so the room fits two people. Where's the toilet? Oh my God, that's the disgusting part. There, guys, where he put his uh, foot. And you got a thing there, you got a mirror, 
and they have the shower right outside um our door so all the super train i don't see like any morning ones so it's all dark outside but yeah it's just an experience what do you think remy too tight i'm a uh, claustrophobic so we are eating our dinner now so the ticket already includes the meal and right now i'm um, just getting the the red wine grape beef the salad and a cup of soda and remy's eating that's true we eat more actually so that's the chicken fettuccine with salad it's actually not bad at all and you get some brownies to can of soda. What's that? Oh, it's bread. The food is actually not bad at all. Really good. Okay, hey, yours looks better though. I mean, I just ate. I'm just forcing myself to eat because the breakfast starts at 6 30 and that's where we get off. But alrighty, going up to you. Hey, all it's me again. I'm here in the top bunk in the roomette. You can see I can fit like two small suitcases over there and then um that's my bed right there so i come with two pillows plus neck pillow and then we got the ac hole right there and i got this like guard help me just in case if i'm gonna topple or like whatever god forbid and then um it's actually i'm five four and got this gap here so if you're a big guy you definitely want to sleep in the lower bunk. Got my toiletries. That's my flip flop. On top of the toilet. This is about probably like six five to a little ceiling height. So okay, I guess I'm just gonna catch some sleep. Good night.